Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lam. Today we are going to talk about a brand new, absolutely stunning Kayali fragrance. I have been using this, testing it out for about a week now. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it absolutely every day. I am ready to give you my verdict. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. This is called Eden Sparkling Lychee Number no. 39 by Kayali. It's the newest addition to her collection of fruity floral scents. So starting with Juicy Apple Eden, the first scent, I sadly have not reviewed it yet and I would love to review it. Fragrances are definitely commitments. They take a long time to finish and they are expensive so I don't want to splurge on all of them. When the brand was developing Juicy Apple scent, one of the one of the samples that they tested was the lychee. That sparked an inspiration to Mona to create this next one in the collection. Now when I read about that I was very excited because lychee is one of my top five fruits. Coming from Vietnam it's definitely hard to pick top five fruits because I have like 5,000 choices to pick from and they're all delicious or pretty cheap in Vietnam so I grew up eating a ton of fruits. I love lychee though so definitely excited for this scent. When it was released early on Sephora I got to get it. The lychee I can tell is in the top note because it goes away pretty quickly and is very light to begin with. It's a more refreshing scent. Let's talk about the Description Eden Sparkling Lychee 39 Auto Parfum is a radiant and cheerful fruity floral fragrance featuring a beautiful blend of luscious lychee, tart black currant, and candied violet. It opens with fruity notes at a heart of a bouquet of flirty florals, and as it dries down, warm notes of sugared amber, sweet vanilla, sensual musk create a long lasting and alluring scent. Trail. That was Sephora. Now I'm going to Fragrantica.com. Let's read the specific note. Refreshing. Feels like immediately late spring or early summer because we have the sweetness but it's been dialed down a lot. It's not a super sweet scent like vanilla. Yum Pistachio Gelato number 33, which was one of my favorite. Have a review as well. I'll link it in the description box. But this is a much sweeter scent even in the beginning. Top notes, we have lychee, which is a tropical fruit. If you haven't tried it, you are missing out. Black currant, Italian lemon, and red apple. So we are opening with very refreshing fruity scent. Of course, we can immediately sense the middle notes. Middle notes here we have violet, jasmine, and rose. So a bouquet of fresh flowers, slightly green because you know with a bouquet there will be leaves. And the violet of course is sharp. A rose is a deep scent. Jasmine is a romantic sweet so it pairs well with the lychee and the currant. Lemon and the red apple it cuts the sweetness. It provides that refreshment and now they're gone leaving behind the middle note and now the base notes start to come out the sugar vanilla musk amber sandalwood and cedar i do not detect much of the sandalwood and the cedar but definitely amber and musk some vanilla some sugary notes some of that sugariness is coming from the jasmine as well and the lychee after like 10 to 15 minutes is starting to wear off so it's not gonna be a clear fruity lychee it's gonna be more of fruity lychee candy with the flowers i can tell all the base notes here are toned down they are first lighter to begin with and they are minimal so there are only a little bit of these notes in here so this is not a superstar as far as lasting power and projection you will definitely be able to smell it and i absolutely love it <laughs> it's not really sweet but it's quite sweet it's a refreshing scent so there's something cooling about it i would say it even has a little bit of an aquatic touch even coming out in the winter when you miss the summer feel, you know, in the sunny garden of lychee, you're just sitting on the grass and drinking some lemon tea, some iced lemon tea in the cool late spring afternoon. Oh my god, that's definitely the experience I get with this. 
personally, but let me know what your experiences are as well, because I know scents and music, they can really bring you back in a specific time in a specific place. That's why I love fragrances so much. Oh, also number 39 is the number of times the formula needs to be changed or adjusted before they come out with this final formula. It takes 39 times, basically, to create this scent. Comparing to the rest of my collection, this is standing out because it has that fruity touch, that brightness, that usually sweet scents don't have. It still has some of those woodiness and the vanilla, you know, is the trail that is leaving behind. And I have to say, after three to four hours, this scent will become more of a trail. You can top it off. That's partially why I get the sample size because it's so perfect to put it anywhere, you know, to bring with me. And then I can top it off during the day as I need. The fragrance market, what people like nowadays is lighter scents. They prefer lighter scents, something more unisex, not too extreme. You can see with fashion as well. A lot of people like neutral colors nowadays. This scent I feel would be perfect for those who like more youthful scents. You want that refreshing feeling. You want the warmth, but not a spicy kind of warmth. This is a summery, refreshing, beachy type of warmth. The closest one in my collection is Yum Pistachio. Of course, within the line is the Eden Juicy Apple, but I do not have that. Really would like to try that out next. So whenever that one is on sale, you bet that I will be getting it. Let me know your thought of this new fragrance. Have you tried it? Are you looking forward to or not? And what is the reason? I have a lot of Kayali fragrance videos, so make sure you check them out. Just put on a search in my, you know, Keeping Up With The Queen Kayali. One of my favorite fragrance brands out there because of the uniqueness, theming of everything. I really like how they are running their line and expanding it, consistently releasing new products. So it might not seem the most appropriate timing for this more summery spring kind of fragrance, but a lot of people like me would miss the warm summer in this time of year. So when something like this come out, it's perfect. And for a fragrance fan, it would be a perfect Christmas gift. You can even get this sample and it would be beautiful to just take everywhere. They also have the 10 millimeter size with the traditional looking bottle so it looks like the more the big size I just specifically picked it because of the shape it's easier for me to take it on the go make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel for more click the bell notification Click the bell notification button so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. I'm gonna do two videos a week. I will try Tuesday and Friday at 9 a.m. Seattle time. I will see you in my next one. Until then, please don't flop.